Hey guys, so now that we have uh, rigged our character, I thought it would be cool to show you what I was able to do uh, while animating this character. So let me just go here and load the file with the, uh, that has all the animations. Open project. Uh, yeah, I want to save changes to this. Now I just open Viking Preview and we go into from setup mode we go into our animate mode and and yeah we go here on animations and these were all the animations I was uh, able to make let me just zoom in to this character here let me uh, minimize this and there you go this is the victory animation so he seems really really happy oh it looks like we have a missing image in this file uh, never mind we can move on to the next animations this is super attack and this is ready to attack this is his idle pose and you see this little uh, end uh, that pops up this text that pops up this is basically called a trigger and uh, this basically tells the programmers that uh, one loop is complete uh, uh, yeah this tells the programmer when uh, a single loop of the animation uh, finishes this is the hit animation this is kinda like the uh, super attack animation only this is much faster now here's the dizzy animation again we have a missing asset we have a missing image the defense animation again these little texts are triggers for the programmers to use while uh, using this character in unity or whatever program they use to implement this in their game he drops his shield, he drops his sword and then when his helmet hits the ground uh, these two his shield and his sword uh, kinda do a little bounce and the final the f this is the final the last animation defeat one where he just falls to the ground and there you go I hope you learned um, learned something about this software spine and uh, I hope these videos were useful uh, were helpful to you and hopefully I'll be making some new videos very soon so do subscribe if you found this useful and thanks for watching guys.